Seven months ago on January 17th, um, January 15th, I got a bone marrow biopsy at Kaiser Permanente uh, in Zion in San Diego. Um, the reason why I got the bone marrow biopsy was suspected of having leukemia January 17th, 2023. I was confirmed diagnosed with AML acute myeloid leukemia um, form of cancer so from that day forward I was in the hospital until February 25th I believe or February 28th I was in the hospital um, I got what they call induction they give you chemo for seven days straight, 24 hours for seven days. Um, and then after that, they let you chill in the hospital to see how you recover, let the chemo kind of hit your body, see how you deal with the side effects. I did get side effects. I did have mouth sores. Uh, my gums did swell up. My gums bled. My tongue bled. Um, I got a rash. kind of that one got it under my pecs on my stomach uh, kind of not growing but inner thigh area this car better hurry up because this guy's rocks are flying everywhere and people drive fucking slow so that's what happened there and then so got the rash put ointment on it got the mouth sores couldn't eat for about two weeks two and a half weeks because of the sores, it was my first round of chemo. Um, so it was brutal for me. Um, everybody's different. Um, I walked in at 242 pounds. Uh, and then on February 28th, I could a day or a day less. Um, I left the hospital at 200 and I believe 13 pounds is what I left the hospital at. Uh, it wasn't very fun very depressing uh, being in a room in the hospital while it was raining everybody that was coming in um, being able to go outside when I wasn't able to it was very it's 80% mental 20% physical um, and I stand by that that's what they told me and that's what I believe anyways fast forward um, after that you get consolidation chemo um, which is just chemo, no diroxysubin. I could have the name wrong, so sorry. Um, anyways, I had one consolidation four weeks after my induction. Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. I had my consolidation two weeks after I got out of the hospital um, because my body was already recovering relatively quick. And then went back in for my induction uh, that round of chemo is just straight chemo which is the cytarabine I got 6,690 milligrams per bag it's two bags for 24 hours one bag every 12 hours day off another two bags 12 hour increments day off another two bags 12 hour increments and then you go home 
So you're in there Monday, Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. You get chemo Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Head home, go home. You recover, go through the side effects at your home, and you do all that. Did that three times. Um, after the first round of consolidation chemo, my body recovered relatively quick. I was back in the hospital four weeks after I got out of the hospital. Um, the second one, consolidation, I was in the hospital another four weeks after I got out of the hospital. And then the third consolidation was my last and final consolidation. Um, after that one, I did recover pretty quick. Um, the side effects only lasted me about five, six days. Um, the last seventh day was kind of just everything, just repairing itself. My white blood cells, HGBs, hemoglobins, platelets, ANCs, ANCs are neutrophils, all recovered back up to normal. Um, so then that prompted my doctor, uh, which doc, I don't want Dr. Yi, I call her Dr. Yi Yi, but um, anyways. She said that they're gonna schedule me for another bone marrow biopsy. A bone marrow biopsy, if those of you who don't know, is they drill into your, right where your ash crack is, uh, tailbone area, they drill in there, take a piece of your bone out, um, because that's where the cancer is formed, and that's where your platelets and all your blood and is formed at and dispersed throughout your body, because it is a blood cancer. Um, so anyways, did that, um, got it back, and keep in mind I've already done one bone marrow biopsy in the very beginning two in between and that was my fourth one that I just recently got um, so going about that it's very difficult you get very anxious um, you don't know what to expect um, cancer can be very 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 scary and very fearful um, and it is I can't lie to you it's it wasn't very fun um, you know I try to make the best out of it I did joke around uh, with the nurses the doctors you know everybody that I could um, try to bring some light out of the situation to what there was if any um, in those moments so fast forward to my fourth biopsy waited a week um, and then the following week I have an appointment with my doctor I go going on Friday July 14th 2023 and they tell me that I am negative uh, surface area where they do their first tests on a molecular level is negative and then they go deeper sorry the second test is more on a molecular level where they do your mutations and figure out what type of mutations you have. Um, I, the name is not myeloid. It's it's some fancy my my luck myeloidinous or something like that. Came back 0.1 in less. Now they can't go less than 0.1. Uh, their doctors agreed that did the test that it was below 0.1. Um, I'm considered to be in fucking remission. Um, which is fucking outstanding. I was beyond excited. I still am excited. A long fucking seven months of dealing with that, going through it. I had the best nurses, the best doctor, Dr. Yee Yee, help me. I met a few other doc doctors in the hematology oncology department, which was fantastic. Um, all the nurses were great. Um, I just... It wasn't, yeah, the cancer is bad, but the way they treat you, the way they help you, they're just there for you. The nurses, the doctors, they just want you to get better. That's all they want you to do. And hey, I'm here today. Um, I told Dr. E, thank you for saving my life. Um, it got so bad. Uh, I had lower back pain. On a scale of 1 to 10, probably like a 12. Shoulder pain at like a pain level of 1 to 10. 12. Uh, I was going in the fetal position, crying because it hurt so bad. And it was going on for over a year or maybe a year that I could have had leukemia.
without even noticing. My body did an outstanding job of fighting without knowing what I had until it came to a point where my body could no longer do it and I needed to go to the emergency and get that help. And you know, that was great. So thank you, God. Thank you to the nurses. Thank you to all the doctors. Thank you for Dr. E for helping me and saving my life and everybody else that pitched in, all the nurses. Now there was a lot of nurses, but I can name off all the nurses if they ever see this video, um, ever come by, because a few of them know the YouTube channel. Um, all the nurses, Ray, uh, sorry, Roy, Jay, Vic, Emily, Catherine, Bing, Angela, Destiny, Rosebell. I don't know if I just said Emily already. Um, who else? Um, who else? Who else? Kathleen. Um, I know there's. I know I'm probably missing some, but my memory isn't as good anymore. Um, but with that being said, I want to thank my doctor and all the nurses at Zion in the oncology department on the fourth floor. If you guys ever see this video, I want to thank you for the bottom of my heart for helping me and really being there for me even when, you know, things weren't looking so great. And I want to thank you for that. Um, and I want to thank all you subscribers, all the people that were there for me on this YouTube channel that subscribed for me during during this journey, during this adventure. I want to thank you very much. Um, so I'm cancer free. Um, now my doctor told me just to live life. Uh, don't look back, live life and enjoy it as you are. And I most certainly am. Um, so I want to thank you guys. Thank everybody. It's kind of weird. I'm supposed to be more happy than this, but I think I'm just in shock. Um, I just, to me, it's just crazy. Um, I went through everything and I fucking made it out of that shit. So I'm very happy and I'm willing and able and, you know, just feeling good. And I want to thank everybody for that. And, you know, things are on up and up. I'm going to be posting more YouTube videos, roofing fishing off-roading whatever videos i can post i'm gonna post and try to bring you guys the best content i possibly can and i want to bottom from my heart thank everybody and thank god for keeping me here and the support especially of my family i want to thank thank them and my aunts and uncles and cousins um family friends you guys are part of the family too um so thank you very much and Let's just keep this going. And yeah, this is my hair now. The chemo makes you go bald. So this is what I'm stuck with. Very, very, very curly hair, which is cool, but I'm growing it out. It's a little hot. So I'm gonna get a little haircut. Um, and then hopefully it grows a little, a little faster. Um, but yeah, all right guys, thank you very much. Thanks for tuning in. Um, drop a like, subscribe, it's up to you. I um, hope everybody's doing good. Say, tell your loved ones you love them. Give them a hug. And do everything that you possibly can with them because you never know. Life's a trip. You know, it's like a roller coaster. Sometimes it hits you like a freight train. Sometimes it derails. You just got to get back up and keep going. Never give up, guys. All right. I got to go and give a price on this house. So, peace.